Good morning, such a beautiful day today. The sun is starting to come up. Some of the birds are chirping. It's such a beautiful morning. And what I mean by a beautiful morning, because it could be raining out here, it could be bad weather, but <clears throat> we saw each other today in our mirrors. We saw how Lord has blessed us today and how each and every day we should thank Jesus and our Father for what he has done for us and give him all the praise and all the glory. Such a beautiful, beautiful day. And you know what's on a beautiful day comes some, some words, some words that the Lord has placed upon my heart and I'd like to share with them with you. And it goes something like this. Goodbyes are tough. I can remember when we said goodbye to our friends as we we're about to move across the country when I was in the army. Often friends will exchange promises to keep in touch across the distance, though they solemnly don't be. Don't be a stranger, but distant doesn't really make the heart grow fonder. Perhaps you too had some tough goodbyes, maybe in the death of a loved one, and you know that this side of heaven, you will never see that person again. Such goodbyes can be filled with regrets of things left undone and unsaid. We may, we may just wish we had more time together, but they are hard. Look, you would think that the disciples, when they realized Jesus had departed, would also struggle with the goodbyes. Here they had spent three years with him, day in and day out. They had gave up so much to follow him. They had grown to love him. It seemed to come crashing down when Jesus was crucified and, and they scared to free of fear. But then came a joyful reunion and many rejoyful unions as Jesus had raised from the dead, that he had proven it to them convincingly. He died, but now he is alive. And right away, he is leaving again. If I was one of those disciples, I'd find it hard not to be disappointed, heartbroken, and distraught at the idea that Jesus, who had came back even from the dead, was about to leave for heaven. See, leaving his disciples behind, but he would not leave them alone, and he would not leave them distraught. He would send them a comforter, his Holy Spirit, and they were not distraught, but instead they returned to Jerusalem with great joy at times it may seem like Christ has left us alone, us alone also. Even though he had extended and rules on high, the way he ruled might not be what we expected. We see towns wiped out by tornadoes and fires. We see conflicts in our family, stress at work, and not enough money in our pockets. We watch our health decline and fail. And we see our loved ones taken from us. We may feel abandoned by one who promised he would care for us, for our daily needs. Even when we turn to him in prayer, it can seem like our complaints and our requests fall deaf on deaf ear, as if God has left us alone. How can we, the disciples, be so joyful when Jesus is leaving them? See, they found the joy in his promise. Can you find the same joy? Yes. His promise are for us also. See, their joy was found in the word of an angel and the promise of Christ returns. For in the same way you saw him go, he will return. 
we too find joy in his promise of his return. We look forward to the last day, to the fulfillment of all things and seeing Christ with our own eyes. And yes, face to face. We know that his return in glory will be the day of victory over all sin, death, and the devil. Look, the times and the hour are not known to us, but it's what is ours to know is his promise. See, their joy was found in the promise that Christ would send them a gift, a comforter, a counselor, his Holy Spirit. We saw this promise fulfilled in the powerful way on Pentecost, which is celebrated not this Sunday, but next. But the day of Pentecostal wasn't the only time the Spirit ever worked for God's people. We too know the work of the Spirit, who has called us to faithfully buy the gospel and enlighten us with his gifts. Who strangers, who strengthens our faith and guides us in the path of righteousness. The promise of the Spirit is for us too. Although not mentioned in the Ascension reading, some of Jesus' last word to them are found in Matthew 28. When he promised, I will always be with you to the end of the age. And so by his spirit and in his word, he was and he is. He is with us. The promise of his presence gives us joy when we meet him here at his altar, when we receive him as his pr promise to be found in simply bread and wine. Here Jesus promise, his presence gives us joy at his body and his blood and gives for us the forgiveness of our sins. The promise of his return, the promise of his spirit, the promise of his presence. These promises made his disciples not only bearable, but also joyful for the disciples and for us. And yet his ascension comes not only with promise, but here it is, but also with purpose. His ascension to heaven in order to reclaim his throne, his throne, and as we, as with everything else he does, he does for us. See, Jesus takes back his divine majesty and authority in which he had largely set aside during his time on earth. He sits at the right hand of the Father, far above all other authorities. And there he rules in power. And he rules in power for us. Jesus Christ, true God and still true man, soul and the resurrected body together, now reigning in heaven. And just as we found, just as we follow him through death and to life again, so too will we follow him to reign in heaven. We will receive the crown of life. Christ had died, Christ has risen, and Christ has ascended. Not a cause for sadness, but a reason for joy. Not so much a goodbye as a see you later. For the promise, his return, his spirit, and his presence. And he rules there in heaven for us, his people, preparing a place for us. Thanks be to God for the ascension of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Have a wonderful, blessed day and enjoy what God has given you. Amen.